everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a weekly setup in my Hobonichi cousin Avec for the week of January 2nd through the 8th and we are going to jump right into it. This video is going to be quick because I'm just going to put in a little bit of decoration so that the pages are nice and pretty for when I write in my plans next week. To do this setup I'm going to use the Papillon sticker book by the Happy Planner. I use the sticker book in my Happy Planner monthly January calendar setup and that video is on my channel if you want to check that out but I liked it so much that I wanted to use this sticker book again for the Hobonichi Cousin of Vec. So we are going to jump right into it. I have my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec in this cover by Hobonichi and then I have my Moxie Life Goal Planner in one side pocket and the Hobonichi Cousin of Vec in the other side pocket. So we are going to turn to the correct weekly layout. And we are going to just put down a little bit of decoration on the page. This is going to be my hourly schedule where I plan out my days. So for most days, I'm going to come in the night before and write in my plans. So this plan with me is really just going to be putting down a little bit of decoration, planning out Monday and Tuesday, and then I will come in later next week to write in the future plans as the days come. So let's see. We have some decoration we could put down, like these butterflies here. We have these we could use, checklists, flags. And then we have these stickers here we could use. I like these, these would fit. I like these. Oh, we have these headers. And then we have some quotes and some butterfly decoration that we could use. I should also mention that I have this sticker sheet. It was a 99 cent sticker sheet by Recollections that was sold at Michael's. I used this to decorate my Hobonichi Weeks and I have these leftover stickers. So I'm going to try to use up this sheet of stickers also. So we have this to work with. And the washi tape I pulled in are these butterfly washi tapes. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. These butterflies match the stickers really nicely. But I also have this other butterfly washi tape that I'm trying to use up before it goes bad. So I might use this one instead because I've had it for a long time. And I'm not sure I'm going to get much more use out of it because it's... It's just not going to last very long, very much longer. And then I have this grid washi tape that I got from Amazon that I could pull in if I want to add this also. So we have our washi tape, we have our stickers. Let's start decorating. So what I think I'm going to do is put this washi tape at the bottom. I was going to put it at the top, but the times in the column start at 5 a.m. and I need to write stuff down at 5 a.m. and this washi tape would cover it up. So I'm just going to put it at the bottom instead. And I think I'm going to go to the sidebar. So I think I've set this in pretty much all my videos so far but I don't have much planned for the first week of January. Well, I don't have much planned for January in general, except working, but specifically the first week, I didn't schedule anything outside of work. So that's really all the plans that I need to write in for this week. But in this planner, I'm also going to write in my daily tasks so this is what I will use as my hourly scheduling to replace my Erin Condren 
daily duo that I was using that had an hourly schedule. So what I'm looking for now is something to put on the sidebar and let's see, I think I might use this sticker with the butterflies that says live with heart. I like that. These stickers are meant for the Happy Planner classic size. They're not meant for the Hobonichi Cousin. So we'll see how this fits. I think the sidebar is a bit wider than the column, so I will have space to work with. And I'm going to cover up the calendar because I don't need it. And I'm going to put that down like that. That's cute. I like it. And then underneath, I'm going to put a checklist. So we could use this to do header. And then let's see if we could put either these checklists or these dots. I think the checklist might be too big. Yeah, the checklist is too big, so we're gonna go with these dots and put them down here. And now is a good time for me to ask, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I have been preparing to start work I had trouble logging into the company website though, so they have to email me back for that. Other than that, not doing too much. The weather in Chicago has been getting better. It's going to be in the 50s today, which is unusual for this time of December, but I'm not going to complain. It's better than it being freezing cold. And. I don't have much going on. We don't have plans for New Year's. We're going to just stay in and ring in the New Year, just me and Jason. That looks cute. This is where I will put my weekly to-do list. And then for the week, I do want some decoration up here, but I'm not sure how to go about doing that. I do want to put some of these butterfly stickers down somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down here. It's going to cover up the times on Sunday, but I can still write on this side of the sticker and on Saturday, the Saturday side of the sticker. And then we'll put this one. Let's put it here. Let's put this one on Sunday because I'm probably not going to have a lot of plans to write later in the day on Sunday. And I just tore the sticker. So we're going to just leave that one and we have this last one to work with. I want to put it on here, up here between Tuesday and Wednesday. So we have those down. I do want to put more decoration, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting in the plans that I want to get in. For this top part, I wanted to write in the videos that I post that day, if I post a video. So I might leave that open for that. And then 5 a.m. is going to be the time I get ready. I'm going to try to wake up at 4.30, but I like to hit the snooze button. So in reality, I probably won't be getting out of bed until 5. So this is going to be when I start my day. And I'm going to write in small things like shower, brush teeth, have coffee, edit videos, small things like that, that most people ask me why I write shower in my planner when I know I'm going to shower but I just like having my schedule written out 
so that I could check things off and know that I have time for everything. So that being said, I'm going to start writing in my plans for Monday. Monday is January 2nd, which I'm not sure if it's considered a holiday or not because January 1st, New Year's Day is on a Sunday. But I'm probably going to do what I do most days, which is wake up early and then I want to put this here. Coffee. And film videos. And then that will probably go until 10 a.m. Because this is the last day that I have before I start work. So probably going to try to get in a lot of filming done that day. So I'm going to do that in the morning. And then breakfast. Again, you think I don't have to write in that I'm having breakfast that day. But I like to have it in my planner. And I'm going to use these to differentiate the different tasks. Breakfast and then edit videos probably until 1. This is hard because this is in 24 hour time schedule. 13 is one, yeah. And then there are some work admin tasks that I have to do. I'm hoping they get back to me on Monday. So I'll just put that in. And then that will probably take me to five o'clock. And then this is the start of my exercising for January so I'm going to exercise let's see let's use dots because this is going to be part of my evening routine and this is the first time I'm doing it so I just want to make sure I'm writing in everything that I'm going to have to do These lines are really small, so putting in these these bullet points is a little bit difficult, but I just staggered them so that I have room to put them all. So I'm going to exercise at five o'clock. I'll do that for at least half an hour. Then shower, skincare, and then I'm not sure if I'm going to do my self-care in this part of my routine or later in the day, but I'll put it down as a reminder. And then 6.30, I'll just put it here. I need to wash dishes and the times are getting off, like are getting, let's see, this is eight o'clock. I'll have dinner somewhere in there. And then I need a place to put just a to-do list for things that are not necessarily on my hourly schedule yet. I'm thinking I could use these times down here because I'm not going to be doing anything from midnight until 4 a.m. So I could put a checklist... I could cover up the times and put a checklist I'll put the checklist down here
and cut it off at the bottom like that and I might do that for every day because I'm going to need a space to put a to-do list. So for this day, I need to schedule my video uploads. I need to do HR tasks for work. I need to prepare my clothes for the week. I feel like it'll be easier if I just prepare my work clothes for the whole week um, so that I don't have to think about it. And also that includes preparing my exercise clothes because I will look for any excuse not to exercise that day. And if it takes too long to find something to exercise in, I will just say forget about it. I'm not going to do it. Even though that's a lousy excuse, I will find any excuse to not do it. So I'm going to prepare my, my workout clothes, put those to the side so that I'm ready to go at five o'clock to exercise. And then I have space to put other to-do lists down. I might have to do laundry that day now that I think about it. But let's move on to Tuesday. So I'm going to log in at work. Actually, I'll do it at 6.30. I could technically log in at 6, but I'll do it at 6.30 just to make sure that it works. And then I have work tasks to do and then work. Oh, I have a meeting at 9.30. Well, I wonder if I have, I don't have boxes that fit. So I will just use another one of these bullet points. And then I have a meeting. I'm not sure how long that will last, but I think there's meetings all day because this is the first day of working and I think there's an agenda where there's something to do all day. I'm assuming that will last until five, but I'm not certain. Let's just say, let's just say it'll go till there. And then I will do this again. Exercise, shower, skin care, and my self care item for the day. And then I'm going to use another checklist. See, I will use this color. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to have more stuff to do for work, so. And I think that's it for Monday and Tuesday. So now that I have those in, I think what I'm going to do is leave the rest of the space open for the rest of the week so that I can come in the night before and write in my plans because I don't know exactly what my schedule is going to look like. And I'm assuming once I get my work agenda, things might change a little bit. So I'm going to leave this space open and plan it closer to the day. So we just have to figure out what other decoration we want to put down. I could put down all the checklists, but I kind of like having the idea of having stickers to put down each night before I plan my day. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. And oh, the videos that I'm going to post. 
let's see I do have a social media planner that I put that in but I just want to make sure that I'm also keeping this book up to date as my planner that has everything in it so let's see I'll put this down to so I don't smudge I should mention I'm using the Pentel Inner Gel liquid gel ink in a 0.5 and I like this pen for the Hobonichi paper but it does take a second to dry so that's why I'm putting this paper down so I don't smudge it because I'm not sure if it's dry yet so this will be my Moxie Life monthly and weekly goals this will be Now that I'm thinking about it, this space at the top is quite small. I think I might have to abbreviate. Wednesday will be my Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner. And the rest of the days, I'll see. <laughs> I'll see. I'm going to try to post more regularly in January, but with working full time, and with me not being the best at time management, we'll see how that goes. But I have kept you long enough. This plan with me is kind of more of a decorate with me and plan with me for two days out of the week. But I hope you liked it nonetheless. And I really enjoyed playing with my stickers and washi tape and talking about my process for this. And there's not a lot of decoration on the page, but it's enough that I would want to come back and use this to write in my plans. Once all the days are filled in, it'll look more full. But for now, I'm happy with it. And I want to thank you for hanging out with me and watching this video. But I will see you in the next one. Bye.